is the last day to change your child's learning plan for next semester in Knox County Schools. At last check, the superintendent says there were 4,400 requests to change. 3,700 parents wanted to send their kids back to school for in-person learning. 700 decided to keep their children home instead. If you don't want to change, you don't have to do anything at all. We told you on WATE 6 on your side news at 4 today that nearly 25% of virtual learners were failing. If you're still trying to decide, here's what the superintendent had to say at last night's board meeting. The proportion of F's assigned between in-person and virtual actually widened when compared to the grades assigned in at the uh, 4.5 week benchmark. So uh, just for uh, keeping that in mind, and as I've said before, our virtual teachers are doing an outstanding job. Uh, very pleased that we're able to offer the virtual option for families who have health risks related to COVID-19 or other concerns. But at the same time, please keep in mind that students who have the greatest success in the virtual program are those who benefit from a strong st structure at home and also high, they are highly disciplined and self-motivated. This semester, we know more than 17,000 students are learning virtually. Again, you must make any changes by tomorrow or your student will continue with current plans, whether they're virtual or in person. Head to the Knox County Schools website to file a change request.